Here in Baltimore, Maryland, it's overcast and windy. And the poor old Baltimore Orioles manager, Earl Weaver, is down to his last 20-game winner, Mike Cuellar. The Pittsburgh Pirates are going with a the pitcher they think has been their best the last two months of the season, a right-hander, Steve Blass. And so the two teams who started spring training last February are now down to their final game in a one-game World Series. NBC Sports, a service of NBC News, presents the seventh game of the 1971 World Series. The National League champions, the Pittsburgh Pirates, versus the American League champions, the Baltimore Orioles. Brought to you by Chrysler Corporation. Extra care and engineering. Your host today, your local Chrysler Plymouth dealer. By right guard, Annie Persbrunt. The one that's super dry. And by Phillips 66. The Performance Company at Phillips 66. It's performance that counts. Hi, everybody. Kurt Gowdy of the NBC Sports Department. Chuck Thompson, the telecaster and broadcaster of the Baltimore Orioles. And Tony Kubek of NBC roaming the stands for you. The two starters are already warming up. Once again, it's going to be Cuellar against Blast. We'll talk a little bit more about them. And we've had a late lineup change that uh, could be meaningful in this game. The Pirates have just moved Willie Stargell out of the cleanup position and dropped him to number six. They have elevated Bob Robertson, their first baseman, into the cleanup spot, and they put Manny Sanguian in the number five spot catching. Yesterday, and we've talked to a lot of writers, broadcasters, uh, baseball people who have followed the World Series for years, and they all agree one of the most dramatic World Series games they've ever seen. There were plots and subplots, a real thriller, that 10-inning victory, as the Orioles got back into it. So each team now has fought from behind. The Pirates over in Pittsburgh and Baltimore here, and we're down to the seventh game, and let's look at the starting pitchers now. Going for Pittsburgh will be the man that got Pittsburgh on the winning track in this series, Steve Blass, who pitched a brilliant three-hitter at Pittsburgh. Blass won 15 and lost 10. He's typical of the Pittsburgh staff. They're trying to do it with 10 and 15 game winners against all the 